Feral Daryl Plays. Join my Roblox group, the Cedar Crew, today to be a Cedar Crew member and to be included in every of my monthly giveaways. Hello everyone, it is the Feral Daryl that plays and welcome back to another Adopt Me video. In this video, we are going to be rating everything in the Lunar New Year update and at the end, we'll be rating the entire update as a whole. We did this just a few days ago for Overlook Bay, and I'm bringing this series to Adopt Me as well. I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get straight into it. So the first item in this update is the Lunar Muscle car. This car is pretty cool. It costs 2,000 bucks, which is quite a bit of bucks. It almost cost as much as the house, which is pretty interesting. I never would think that a lunar car would cost as much as the Chinese house. But still, this is a really cool car. It is overpriced, and I will rate it as 7.5 out of 10, be just for the fact that this is the first lunar car ever to be in a Lunar New Year update. The previous Lunar New Year update with the Golden Rats and the Rats did not have any car in the update, and that is why I'm rating it so high, because no lunar update has had a lunar car before. Therefore, I'm going to rate it a seven and a half out of ten. Let's get on to the next item in this update. So the next item in this update is the Ox Box. This is the best way to get rich fast in Adopt Me. You have a ten percent chance to get a metal ox, which is a legendary, and it only costs three hundred fifty bucks to have a chance at it. This is the cheapest way you can possibly get pets in the game. No other egg is as cheap. The only egg that is as cheap is the cracked egg, which costs 300, and you only have like a 0.5% chance at a legendary, some very low amount like that. So this box right here is the best way to go. You really, really need many ox boxes and you should continue to collect them because they will be worth a lot in the future. The overall design is very cute. It sticks to the Lunar New Year theme. Therefore, I rate it a 10 out of 10. This is my favorite update of the year so far, and I hope that got me as many other updates this year. So let's get on to the next item. The next item is a Guardian Lion. If you guys did not know, I gave away a Guardian Lion earlier in the month. The Guardian Lion winner was announced and the person had received the Guardian Lion. So this pet is really, really cool. The first kind of pet, when I think about the country China, I think of a dragon just because of their cool Chinese dragon traditions that they follow every year dur or during Lunar New Year. So because of that, I like the Guardian Lion and I will rate it a 9 out of 10. This is a great pet. It does cost Robux. The only problem is it stays in the game permanently. Because of this, I rated a 9 out of 10 and not a 10 out of 10. I like exclusive pets. Exclusive pets is what I love to collect and it urges people to buy more things in the game. That is what I like so much about the Frost Fury, the Frost Dragon, and all of those pets. Like the Frost Fury was a limited time Robux offer. You can only get it for a limited time and it was a really cool pet. So that is why I'll rate it a 9 out of 10. Let's move on to the next item. Hold the phone! Your video is getting interrupted for a special announcement, so listen closely. If you guys would like to have a chance to be in a video, all you gotta do is join me during this time on Friday. This Friday, I will be having a Cedar Crew car fight. That means you guys will join me in an Adopt Me server that I am in and you guys will be able to have a car fight with me and anyone else in this server. All you gotta do is bring your car and bring fun. There will be no winners, no prizes, it is all for fun. Everyone will be having a great time, we will be getting people angry, and we will be having tons of fun playing with our cars and running our cars into each other trying to crash the game. I hope you guys join me, this will be a fun experience for everyone, so if you'd like to join, just please join during your respected time zone shown on the screen. For example, in New York City it is 9am, in Texas it is 8am. 
Denver, it is 7 a.m., West Coast, 6 a.m., and everywhere else on the screen is your respected time zone. So please join me during that time to have a whole lot of fun and to be in a video guarantee if you're near me. So thank you guys for that. Please join if you'd like to. The next item is this stroller right here. This is a very Chinese-like stroller. I do have one myself because I am a stroller collector and I like it, but at the same time, it's kind of odd because it's open. Like right here, it's open. It is very neat to have, but it is open. And I don't really like that because I feel like when I'm driving or when I'm walking really fast, my pet can just fly out. I know, of course, that's not how it works, but that's how I feel about this stroller. It is really cool design. It is great design, and I absolutely love it. That is why I'm going to rate it at 8.5 out of 10. It's a really cool item, and I hope they make more super cool strollers like this in the future. And the next item is the Lunar Rattle. I do collect rattles just in case. And let's see exactly how it is a lunar rattle. Um, I don't really like the um, lunar rattle that much. It's not my favorite. But still, I will take it. I will buy everything because I know some people collect rattles. And that is why I get stuff like the rattle. Because some people like it and some people overprice for certain items. So I will rate the lunar rattle a 9 out of 10 because it is a really cute pet. And it is really awesome. I enjoy it. Let's move on to the next item. Okay, the next item is the Tangerine Chew Toy. It is pretty cute and I really enjoy it. I mean, um, I do collect chew toys. Here is the Breadstick Chew Toy from the Christmas update. I do collect it, only the cute ones though. Here is the tangerine. It is so cute with the oxes. All the oxes hold it like this. This is the cutest thing in the world. That is why I rate this a 10 out of 10. This is the cutest little item ever. And I will use it in the future and save it and never give it away. I will buy more, of course, and trade them later on in the future. Let's move on to one of the final items before we get into the three pets. Okay, right here is the Lunar Pogo. I'm not a fan of Pogos, therefore I won't really rate this high. But still, I do collect the Pogo sticks, but I will never see myself using them. I don't really ever use any of them. Here's a Monkey Pogo right here. I'm not going to buy this Lunar Pogo Polo because I do not collect them. But if you're a collector, I would definitely use them and collect them. Let's move on to the next item. Okay, so I forgot to rate the last item, the pogo stick, and I will give it a eight out of 10. So let's finally move on to the next item, and that item is one of the three pets. So the first pet we're going to be taking a look at is the normal ox. I love the normal ox. It is cute, it is cool. It is the first pet that I got in this lunar update. It is cooler than the musk ox in my opinion, therefore I will give it a 9 out of 10. The lunar ox, this is cute. I don't know why they made it red though. That's why I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. It is really cool though. There is a high chance that you can get it though. Well, actually 30% chance, but I feel like I get it a lot more. Like in my first video where I explored this update, I got it very, very soon. I think I got about 8 in a row. Eight lunar oxes in a row. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I got eight lunar oxes in a row. Therefore, you can trade these for legendaries and get rich very fast with the lunar ox. And the last pet is the metal ox. That's the pet I'm currently making neon right now, the metal ox, and I am excited to see its neon variant. Mine is over there exploring in the distance with this little chew toy, but I'm going to rate this ox a 10 out of 10 because this is the cutest pet in the update in my opinion and I love it very much. I will always treat my metal ox perfectly and I will never give him away. Of course I'm making a neon because I do collect neon pets but I do love the metal ox. Everything is so perfect about it. It has so many details and it is such a cute pet. Let's rate the update as a whole. So rating the update as a whole, I will rate this update at 8 out of 10. 
this is probably not going to be the best update of the year. And to be honest, I do think that last year's Lunar New Year update was slightly better. I hate to say that about updates, but I just like the pets better last year. I know they can't help it what it is. Last year was the year of the rat, and I really think the golden rat is much cuter than um, any of these other pets and oxes. The only thing I like a lot better about this year is the boxes itself. I do not like the rat boxes. Let me see if I still have one. No, I don't have a rat box left over. I didn't really like them. It was just a cardboard box, and this is really cool. It has a cute design. And also the Guardian Lion is really cool as well. But I do not think this year's update is as great. I remember this update being so hyped last year. Everyone was so excited about it. And it was very much played quite often. And everyone made a big deal about the update last year. I had so much fun playing it. More fun than this year. And that is why I gave it a less rating than I did last year. I hope they step it up next year and they have a better one next year. But I do plan for Adopt Me to have much better updates this year, just like the monkey update last year. My favorite update out of all of them ever was the monkey fairgrounds update. That was probably the best update ever, partially because I'm a Minecraft fan and it made you collect resources to eventually craft items which is like right here, monkeys, you would craft it with items and you would make business monkeys or toy monkeys or ninja monkeys. And then I got the Monkey King as well from crafting. So it is really, really cool. I love the update, the Monkey Fairgrounds update. That is my favorite update. And this is not in my top 10 updates ever, but it is probably number 12 or 13. This is a very average update. Uh, but Adopt Me will post a better update very, very soon, hopefully for the spring update. So thank you guys so much for watching. This has been the Feral Daryl That Plays. Goodbye!